on the videos going on right now. But all praise and honor and glory to the Most High. So there's a there's a there's a shitload of videos. There's a shitload of videos brought to you by these bugged out niggas at GMS. <laughs> Now I just finished door dashing. I door dashed eight hours today. I, I made, I made, I made, I made close to two hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? A little short under two hundred dollars. There's videos. The videos that's being made, right? These videos, <laughs> and, and he just made another video. This 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 guy, uh, uh, Elder Monatazak from South Carolina of GMS. This crazy nigga. Is, is going into the psychological understanding of the color red. Mind you, I got the red lumberjack with Biggie on the hat to match. But he said I had a red filter on the call for action, on the call for unity and solidarity for our brothers at WFI Chicago. He said I, I'm, I'm doing some psychological stuff, basically... Because they, they, they claiming that I'm an agent. C-A-B-A-C-H. Elder Priest Abak, yes. Elder Priest. At the end of it, be S-H-I. And that's who the world ignorantly calls as Jesus Christ. So Yahweh is the most high God. And Yahweh Shai is the, who they call Jesus Christ. But it's so much. See, these niggas go so deep on breakdowns. And they go so deep on doctrine, but who said you posted a video that didn't need to? Listen, I don't know what video you're talking about. But these niggas go so deep on breakdowns. These niggas go so deep on breakdowns that y'all can break down all these scriptures. Y'all can break down. The revelations, y'all can break down Daniels, y'all can break down all this prophetic stuff. The book of Isaiah, the book of Ezra, second Ezra, wisdom of Solomon. But then you fail, then you then you fail at at the simple things, like bearing force witness. See, with GMS from the elders on down, it's like the light is on, but Ain't nobody up in the house. <laughs> it's bugged out. They go into the most secluded areas to try to call themselves prophesying and prophets. And they, they ain't teaching nobody. And then when you look on their comment boards, and that's some of them. Because most of them average like two views. Nobody's listening to these niggas. Nobody's watching these niggas go outside to talk into the camera. For If you're going to go outside and talk into the camera... You see what I'm saying? Then just stay in the house. Why go outside to talk to the camera? You niggas is idiots. You're not prophesying to nobody out there. Y'all avoid confrontation. You avoid the people. You're not, you're not trying to bring in the flag. You're talking about you're, you're, you're molding and talking to the elect. You probably let the elect walk right past your dumb ass. But, and without, without even talking to him, without even making an attempt. To speak to them and bring them the truth. They, they, they there's, a, there's proof on it. There's a, so much shit that these niggas false prophesy. They, 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 they steady giving dates and years and dates. Like, just stay away from the dates. And y'all probably be all right. Y'all always want to put a date on something. So, yeah, got to put the word on the wind. Yeah, you put it in the wind where there's nobody there. DoorDash bags, right? Look, one, two. I got another one on the floor. Oh, shit. Look at the red filter. Oh, shit. Watch this here. Let me show y'all dumb niggas something. Y'all bear force witness. You see that light? That's not a red light. Right? Let me, let me, let me, let me turn this camera around so you dumb ass niggas. Let me, let me turn this camera around. Hey, you see that? That's called a red light in my living room. That's why I like to mellow out and chill with my wife. See, we got the DVDs, the TV right there. This is where I like to sit and chill with my feet up. Check this out. I got another red light. <laughs> I got another red light in my bedroom. See my bedroom? Look. 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 Check, 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 check this out. Let me put the light on so you can see. All the praises and the honor goes to Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shah Bahashem. Rechah. Kwadash, 
and double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, fellow followers and believers of this faith. Even your few sisters, shalom to you as well, the sincere ones, and shalom to the elect. I want to touch on this video here by the emotional chief Ephraim. So we can clearly see that this man is really upset by correction. All that we were trying to do, all we're doing is setting an example of what not to be and how to behave in this ministry. Right? But it seems like all he can do is throw shots and get upset. <laughs> he's, he's severely upset because um, he heard Elder Manata Zat Ba uh, say, which I didn't hear it, but I said the same thing, that why has this man got red? Why does he have red solely in his video? <clears throat> now to go into that, I don't know if he bought a couple of red lights and threw them in there, but maybe this man's obsessed with red. But as he was speaking, and speaking on the red, right, we didn't see him cover, colored, covered in red. So maybe it wasn't a filter. He just wanted this red light on him. Anyway, that's what I see. Possibly. Uh, he says we are being presumptuous and bearing false witness. We're telling you that whether you use the red filter or not, this is still not the behavior of a man of the Lord. Sitting there with bright red, glaring, representing something that looks emotional. Now, when you look at this word red, it said red attracts most attention. Like when you buy a red sports car, they, they used to say your insurance would go up. Associated with strong emotions of passion and anger. It's the universal color that signifies strength, power, courage, and danger. Stimulating and exciting with strong link sexually, sexuality and increased appetites. This is why you see this color in every fast food restaurant. So even though he might have felt that we were uh, bearing false witness, we're trying to still show you whether it was a filter or not, that you're supposed to be pure in this truth. There's no reason to be sitting in a, col a colored red room, totally red video, but we're not going to go into that. That's not what this video is about. Um... We're really going to go into the fact that um, these guys have an issue with us telling them that they're going off. And he said, <laughs> we said we believe you're an agent. I'm not sure, but he has the characteristics of an agent. And maybe this is why he's showing all his door dash and where he lives. I cut a lot of the video out. He's showing the door dash, how he got the red hat and red this. This is how I live. Look, man, agents come in all shapes, sizes, colors. Right? You can be an, a broke-ass agent. That don't mean nothing, but he's explaining his income and where he lives and him and his wife. We don't care. <laughs> we don't care. Anyway, he goes on to say that we just go out and we're not trying to bring in the elect or we're letting the elect pass by. We go on dead corners and, you know, all these things that he said, lack of respect for his elders and teachers, right? Doing what he did, even with Zabak, even though Zabak co-signs for this madness, that's still a bad look on your elders, right? Fighting and acting like a fool and talking about joining up and going like some, some goddamn gang. Anyway, uh, Mr. Door Dasher, he says this, uh, let's go to Isaiah. Well, let's go to first, uh, Second Peter 2 first. But there were false prophets also among the people. Even also there shall be false teachers among you who privily or privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even in denying the Lord that bought them and bring unto themselves swift destruction. So these guys think, Prophecy is just going out, cursing out white people, right? Telling every black man, woman, and child to wake up. That's what their idea of a prophet is. What you are supposed to go out and teach 
go out and try to wake up the elect. That's why we push that, right? And we strictly push the elect because not every Israelite is going to look like some so-called black or an Hispanic man. If I guarantee you, if a Chinese or Moabite looking person came up there, more than likely, they'd be the first to call them a heathen. And where are those type of looking people in their camps? I don't know. I didn't see it. Maybe they do. I don't know. We're just saying that it's all about the elect. Right? And many shall follow their own pernicious ways, dangerous ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And through covetousness shall they be, be with fiend with words, with merchandise of you, whose judgment now of long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. That's going down to here. I'm going to go to verse 10. But chiefly, chiefly, Mr. Chief Priest, them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government. Presumptuous are they self-willed. Right? These guys just went out. They saw this other group set themselves up in the middle of some damn protest and yell at these people. Right? These heathens. And then these heathens throw a bottle at them. And then they go jump. A plastic bottle, by the way. They go jump, you know, out of their so-called congregation running up and going to fight a couple of young 20 year olds man these is what you this is what they call men of the lord this is what they call men of the lord where was your howashah talking about inciting violence in fact when the jews came at him in the john the eighth chapter he ducked his head when he was in turmoil and ran out when Peter chopped off the ear, he told him, put the sword away because there had to be fulfillment. Well, guess what? There's still a, we're still in the time of, of fulfillment. Yeah, I wish I hasn't returned yet. It's not time to take up swords and arms and go attack the heathen that's marching away. Look, let's go to Proverbs 4, man. We're going to cut these guys real quick. Real quick. This is a scripture that I, I quote that Apostle Ricard told me my first like three, four years in the truth. It might have been five years in, six years, something like that. But I never forgot this scripture, right? I've never forgotten this scripture. Proverbs 4 and 14, enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the ways of evil men, right? Why are you sitting up there, these guys are sitting there posting up in the path of the wicked. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, pass away. For they sleep not. This is going to our own people too, by the way. Except they have done mischief and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. We know that the heathens are. And some of them Israelites are mixed among them. But we know how the heathens are. Come on, man. We're in a time now that we must be humble, right? And just push his word out. The uh, Hebrews 4 says, the words of the Lord are sharper than any two-edged sword, man. Not your goddamn fingers and claws, man. And then they're going to go down there and all of them going to meet up and start more trouble. The way of the wicked is, in, is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. You see what I'm saying? My son, attend to my words. Incline thy ear unto my sayings. Okay? That's what you should be doing. We're all about trying to reach the elect. No matter where we go and teach, what corner we go on. No, we don't go back. That's why I read Proverbs 4. Where we teach, taught was kind of close to the hood. Close. And you had all the the people coming up wanting to fight, the drunkards and the druggies dropping and falling over in front of us. Just a melee. Said, go to the marketplaces where you can reach all, all the people. That's why in the scriptures it says, go baptize ye all nations. Why, you, why do you think it says all nations? 
the Israelites that are scattered amongst the nations. That's why it says all nations. Anyway, Romans 8 and 7, because the carnal mind is an amenity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. This is why this man loves red so much, right? Mr. Big Red, he loves the red. That's his mindset, like a Roshacrucian or something, man. That's why I believe he sold out. I don't know. I'm just saying, you know, it's a possibility. Anyway, Isaiah 10 and 20, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon them that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel in truth. If I remember correctly, it was a story, I believe in Joshua, if I'm correct, where they went up into uh, AI, if I'm not mistaken, without the consent of the Lord and got their asses handed to them. Right? If I'm not mistaken, I remember that story. And I think the Lord just, I believe he said because they have sinned or something of that nature. But the point is the Lord, you can't go and just take up arms yourself and go fight without the hand of the Lord, man. Especially when you outnumber. See, these guys, whatever reason, they believe that the Lord is with them, right? Boldly and proudly. This is what they, they believe. But they don't even understand all the prophecies. You know? They don't even understand all the prophecies. And they believe, you know, they call on Christ sometimes. Sometimes they call on the Lord's name. But all of a sudden, that that's not a smart move. The Lord is our Savior, man. These guys are trying to save themselves. Where do you think we at, man? Yahweh is coming to deliver his elect. That's the bottom line. Not deliver yourselves. Anyway. It says the remnant shall return. Even a remnant of Jacob. Unto the mighty power. <clears throat> right. For, the, for though my people Israel be as the sand of the sea. Hosea 4 and 6. Yet a remnant of them shall return. So this is all about a remnant of the Israelites. Period. It's not about everybody. But that's what these. Uh, these jakes are pushed. Again, this is a shame to the heads of Israel, or really all of Israel, right? And this is why we separate ourselves at Great Millstone from these particular type of groups that plant themselves there in the midst of the wicked and then call themselves men of the Lord and try to deliver themselves. And what did they get out of it? They, if the Lord was with them, then why the hell did they got to go get more men to go back and fight? I don't know. It, it's not looking good. Now, as far as the prophecy go, Ezekiel 3 and 17 says, warn, uh, um, um, prophesy and warn them from their wicked ways. That's what we're supposed to be doing. And as watchmen, they call themselves watchmen of Israel. And if they got so many names, watchmen of Israel, Wi-Fi, uh, Chief This, and all these groups, and then they come together as some form of unity. Some of them believe in the mark. Some of them don't. Some of them believe this. Some of them believe that. Then why the hell all y'all name ain't the same? Why are all y'all the house of Israel? Right? Why y'all got so many different names? You're all supposed to be one. I don't know. You know, this this is what the Lord wants. I guess it's okay to have different names. But you, you, if you're going to agree, you should walk together if you be agreed, man. If you don't, if, if, it's, if it's not, you know, if it's not of the Lord, I mean, if it's of the Lord, you'd walk together and all y'all be agreeing in the same doctrine. But it don't seem like that. Let's go to um, back to Second Peter 2 and 12. But it says here, let me go here. Despise God. Presumptuous are they self-willed. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignities, which goes back to honor and um, says honor and um, worthiness. 
right? So it goes on to say, let me go back to Second Peter. But these are natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed. Speak evil things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. So these are warnings going out to you jakes who think you're going to take down a group of non-fighting Palestinians with, uh, with the spirit of Edom on them as well. Right? See, the Lord will... Even though I know some of them came back and said it was just a few of us. Well, you didn't fight a whole bunch of them. If they wanted you out of there, you'd be out of there. You better be thankful that the Lord kept you. And we don't want nothing to happen to you brothers like that. But these are warnings. You go up there with that pride, prideful mindset that you're going to just go and start kicking people's asses. That's not the spirit of Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Shah wouldn't do that just jump out there in the middle of something and go fight now of course somebody comes up we're trying to teach and it gets like that i snatched off my garment a couple of times you know but now we're in the spirit of just bringing the lord's sword you know that's it which is this word that's all that's all i have on that shalom